Today we explore Typhoon Wifa, which swept across Asia in July 2025. What happened, and what does it reveal about our changing climate? Wifa began as a low-pressure system east of the Philippines on July 16, intensifying into severe tropical storm Wifa, also known as Crising in the Philippines, before making landfall across Hong Kong, southern China, and northern Vietnam between July 20 and 23. Maximum sustained winds reached 75 miles per hour, 120 kilometers per hour, with a minimum pressure of 970 HPA, classifying it as a Category 1 equivalent typhoon. WIFA's impact was profound. In the Philippines, it combined with the monsoon to affect over 9.5 million people with 40 fatalities and 8 missing. In Hong Kong, the storm triggered the highest signal. Storm number 10 toppled 711 trees, injured 33 people, evacuated hundreds, and disrupted 400-plus flights, affecting around 80,000 passengers. Damage is estimated at 1.5 billion US dollars in the region. In Vietnam, severe floods in Nian province killed at least three people, submerged over 3,700 homes, damaged another 459, and wrecked 1,600 hectares of rice fields plus 1,290 hectares of other crops. Across Southeast Asia, including Laos, Thailand and beyond, thousands were displaced as communities faced rains, landslides, and infrastructure collapse. Experts such as Benjamin P. Horton of City University of Hong Kong stresses that climate change fuels storms like WIFA, warming ocean temperatures increase intensity, rainfall, and unpredictability. WIFA isn't an isolated event, it's part of a growing trend of stronger, more destructive storms. The 2025 Climate Risk Index ranks the Philippines among the top 10 countries most affected by extreme weather in the past 30 years, reflecting the broader human cost of climate disruption. Behind every statistic is a story. Families losing homes, fields swept away, people displaced with only the clothes on their backs. Like Dang Thi Nok in Vietnam, who said, our rice, our clothing, our money are all gone. We have nothing left except our bare hands. These voices remind us that human lives and livelihoods are at risk, and that climate justice is also about caring for people and communities. Typhoon Wifa's trail across Asia is not just a natural disaster, it's a climate warning. To protect lives and futures, we must act now. Reduce emissions, support resilient infrastructure, and champion the people on the front lines. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's stay informed and inspired to act for justice and for our planet.